Hello, so this is a main channel video because it's Arsenal related, so it fits the main channel well. But it's also a vlog, and this is a vlogging channel, so I'm going to put it on here as well. It's the same vlog as the main channel, there's no big difference. It's literally just a vlog with the outro taken out and the intro taken out, and this bit added in. So, yes. Great content. It's about to export right now. Then I can make this version, which is... Only slightly different. So it's your boy David. Welcome to another Arsenal vlog against Newcastle. Sunday 4.30 kickoff. I'm going next week as well, by the way. Same time, Sunday 4.30 against Everton. So two vlogs in a week. No, yeah. Two weeks in a row of vlogs. So as far as I know, Arsenal was not postponed, which is good because I want to go to the game. I want to see us hopefully win. That would be great. We'll probably draw again, though. This weekend, we got um, Storm Dennis, which is quite rough. Last week, we had Storm Kiara, which I think was stronger. That actually cancelled Man City's game. It postponed it to, to this Wednesday. Um, and today, it's been quite bad as well, especially last night. I heard it last night. I could struggle to sleep because it was so loud. But Arsenal's women's game is postponed today as well. They're playing today and their game's postponed. But our game is not postponed at the moment. So that's a good sign. Hopefully, the wind blows in the direction of where we're shooting. That would be helpful. We need a lot of help. We've only won twice in the league since October the 6th, which is... <laughs> really bad. Um, Arteta, I think, has got us playing good football, but we still need to do better than what we're doing. I'm sure he knows that as well. I'm sure try to fix it. We need to get wins. Um, we're still in relegation danger somehow. <laughs> it's possible. It's still possible. Anything's possible, right? So like, we'd still need a couple, a couple wins to like make sure. Um, hopefully today's one of those wins. Um, Newcastle, they. Could, I mean, to be fair, they can get a draw here. Anyone could at the moment because we're drawing almost every game. But I'm just hoping that today we can just get the three points. That's all, all I want. I just want to see us win. I haven't seen us win live in a little while, actually. It's only a few months, but still. Uh, for me, it feels like a while because it goes so often. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And um, I just hope we win. That's it. I just hope we win. Let's do this. Welcome to England. The weather here is amazing, as you can see. Just waiting. there almost there just after i recorded that i looked at my phone almost walked into a tree branch man has some elite reflexes what's on the view it's not too bad not too bad then there's this just looking at this red wall time to go in there's my name question which one is the best logo i reckon that one so i saw a bunch of fans here on the tv watching the spurs game and i thought i'd just watch you know it was 89th minute i thought you know what why not four minutes at a time it was 2-2 and then Villa make a stupid mistake and Spurs win at the end. So on 94th minute. What a waste of time. I should have just gone to my seat. Welcome to North London, Pablo Murray. Now then, best of luck to our Arsenal women who have reached the Continental Cup final. I really wish I filmed this. I hope someone did. It's got to be on YouTube somewhere. But this guy ran onto the pitch. He ran around the pitch. More and more stewards came on. They couldn't catch him. He had to stop for them to catch him. It was the funniest thing. It was so funny. <laughs>
feels good to win. It feels so damn good to win. I don't think other fans realise, but Arsenal fans know how bad we were under Emery during his last few months. It was so shockingly bad, it was painful to watch. So to win a game today, even though we're only going to 10th place now, which is not very good anyway, but to win a game 4-0 after winning just two games in the last few months in the league, it feels good. It feels really good. It's very relieving. It's a relief to actually win a game for once. And that was a good three points. Pepe got two assists and scored. He played well. Ozil played well. Lacazette came on and scored and assisted, which is good. He's been on bad form for a while now. So hopefully that goal um, renews his confidence. Hopefully his confidence uh, gets better now. Nketiah needs confidence though, to be honest. Speaking of confidence, because he missed an easy shot today. He should have done better. He had a few bad touches. So... Um, Hopefully, I mean, he's still young, but hopefully he improves. Aubameyang scored as well, so that's great. And Saka, Saka for the second goal. What an assist. He nutmegged the player, and they just he just stopped playing. He had two Newcastle players around him. He nutmegged one of them. They just stopped playing. He went, ran in, assisted Pepe for the goal. Um, that was, he, he proper done him in there. That was great. But yeah, it was, uh, it was great football in the second half. Not so much in the first half. We started slowly. The first 10 minutes was so dead. Like seriously, nothing happened. It was so dead. Then it wasn't dead, but it's because Newcastle woke up and they started to create chances and they looked really threatening. Probably should have scored as well. We were lucky to get, get away with a few things. And we kept giving the ball away in the, in the first half quite a lot. Like made a lot of mistakes. Sometimes a player would have the ball, have options, but he'd keep the ball, keep running with it and lose it. Sometimes they misplaced passes, give the ball back to them, give them free chances. It was so frustrating to watch. Um, kicking the ball the wrong way. It, it was just, it was so bad. It was so painful for like 10 minutes, but it got better. Towards the end of the first half, we were better going forward, had better shots, better chances, and we almost got a goal. We couldn't though. It was 0-0 at half time. Then in the second half, we actually got our goals. All but a great header from a Pepe cross. Then Pepe scored himself from the Saka. Assist, great assist by the way. And then towards the end, last 20 minutes or so, Newcastle started to come forward and properly start threatening us again, just like at the start of the game. And they nearly scored. San Maximan had the best chance. He hit the post. Fantastic finish to be fair. But he couldn't uh, beat the <laughs> he couldn't beat the post as well. He he beat the keeper and he hit the post. Unlucky, but it's a relief as well because at, at the time it was like 12 minutes left, so that could have been 2-1, could have been game on. So glad it didn't go in. Got a bit of luck there. And then towards the end, um, Lacazette came on, got the assist for Özil's goal, which could have been should have been saved to be fair, but still, um, Özil another player who's not been. Um, not been ready. I mean, he's been playing all right, but he's not been contributing that much. Like, he still creates chances, but in terms of, like, goals and assists, he's lacking quite a lot, so I'm glad to see him get a goal there. And that was in the 90th minute. Then in the 94th minute, Lacazette scored again. And, uh, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to win. Whenever we win, after the game we play, I mean, the stadium plays Sweet Caroline, and it's a great song. We always sing along to it. And today, it just... It just felt extra special just because we won. It just, it's so rare now because our last win was a New Year's Day. Like in the league anyway, our last win was a New Year's Day. And before that, it was what? Some point in December and then before that, October. We don't win very often in the league this season. Atmosphere wise, looking around at the end was great. You know, everyone singing Sweet Caroline. It was, uh, it, was, it was a nice thing. It was a nice thing to see. And yeah, great performance in the second half. Not so much in the first half, but. We got over the line, we won the game, we didn't just win, we won 4-0. The last time we won by four goals in the league was in February last year. But anyway, next up is Olympiakos in Greece, the Europa League uh, knockout stages, so that's a huge game. We used to get them in the group stages quite often in the Champions League, and we lost most of our games there, like in Greece we did anyway. We, we always beat them in the Emirates, basically we always beat them in the Emirates, and we always lost in Greece, except for one game. There's one game where we... 1-3-0 in Greece. We needed to go through. We need to win to go through and Drew scored a hat-trick. Apart from that, we always lose there. So hopefully it's different. Hopefully we actually win the game um, or actually even get a draw and score. Get an away goal as well. A couple away goals. That'd be good uh, for before the second leg. Then after that is Everton. That'd be massive for us, I think, if we can win that game. Then after that is the second leg of Olympiacos. I'm not going to that game, by the way, but hopefully we just go through. Hopefully we get a good away result then finish off at, at the Emirates. Then after that, um, our game is postponed because of the League Cup final. So um, we're meant to be Man City that weekend, but like it's postponed now because they got to the final. Um, so after Olympiacos second leg, it's Portsmouth in the cup away. So that should be a good cup tie as well. So I'm looking forward to these games and hopefully, hopefully they're good. I'll be going to one of them, the Everton one. So uh, 
Yeah, that's it really. Uh, it's a good day though. It's a good night. At least we won. You know, it's, it's good to win. It feels good. And we won 4 new as well, which makes it even better. This is your boy David Off. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see.